handle this this time kind of sitting around waiting to play and uh, before you actually get on the court? Um, I mean, I think we'll take full advantage of it. Obviously, you know, we get another day to rest our legs and uh, just kind of regroup from over the weekend. Um, and just going to detail with who we play next. I think that we want to use the practice time to get better, you know, get our shots right and just get familiar <clears throat> and uh, tighten some things up and kind of, you know, fix some things that we, we had a slippage on, you know, at the end of the season. So I think it's definitely an advantage for us. And I mean, we're thankful for it at the end of the day. Go to Bob Ferrante. Rick, one of you guys kind of got a chance to get a feel for the Coliseum as far as sight lines and, and a little bit of practice time, just just to kind of get a little bit of comfort there. Um, yeah, we uh, shot, I believe, if not uh, yesterday morning, uh, early morning, got some shots up for about 30 or 40 minutes. Uh, just got used to the lighting, the, the Florida balls and the rims. And I think, you know, we shot the ball pretty well. So I think that we're going to adjust fine to it. Uh, it feels good in there. And uh, I'm excited to play. Next, go to Kurt Weiler. I mean, y'all have y'all have dealt with some of this. Y'all have had the two pauses this year. How much of a, I mean, tough reminder is this of just how how fickle this can be and how quickly it can kind of end like it has for Duke? Um, I mean, you know, coach, the coaches do a great job of keeping us safe and, you know, having us follow protocol. And I think um, just being just being smart about what we do, you know, we, we really can't control what, what goes on outside of our program. And I think that we can only control what goes on inside our program. So as long as we keep doing what we need to do, I think, you know, it's kind of a whirlwind. You know, it started last year around this time. And, you know, 2021 has been, you know, crazy already. But, I mean, we just kind of take it for what it is and, you know, control what we can control. Go to Chris Nee. Hey, Raekwon. Obviously, you guys have a lot of familiarity with North Carolina from playing them twice. But with VTech, you know, you guys were supposed to play them twice, but you never got to those games. How difficult is it the first time out when you play a team, just in getting a feel for them, even if you're prepared with scouting report and such? How much of a task is it kind of feeling each other out in those first four, eight minutes of a game? Um, I, I want to say it's pretty – I want to say it's difficult, but I think it's, it's definitely new, you know, not having the team that you're supposed to play twice and you end, didn't end up playing them, and now you're playing them, you know, in an important you know, game. But, um, like, our coaches do, do a great job of preparing us, and I think that, you know, they're really spot on with scout reports. And as long as we take that into the game plan, and, you know, into the game to execute that, I think that, you know, regardless if we played them or not, that we'll be able to come out successful, so – Go to Lane from Seminoles.com. Rick, a year ago on this day, everything happened. And now, again, you have a, a cancellation. Obviously, it's, it's not the same. But do you have to, like, check with your teammates and, and mentally to make sure that that you, you don't go to the wrong place and be like, oh, God, here we go again type type of thing? Um, yeah, definitely. You know, like uh, Coach Ham always kind of checks upon us to make sure that, you know, throughout this whole year that, you know, we're doing good mentally. You know, it's definitely a tough part. You know, tough time to play college basketball and especially not knowing when you're going to play a game or, you know, when the game's going to be canceled. So, I mean, our coaches do a great job of, you know, make sure that we're, we're mentally stable and that, you know, we're still having confidence and, you know, our, our hopes are high. So, I mean, they do a great job of just talking to us and keeping us, you know, level-headed throughout this whole process, this whole season. Luke from Raleigh, you have a question? I'm good, Chuck. Thank you. Billy from the New York Times, you have a question? Okay, Ben from the FS View, you have a question? Aaron Beard, any questions from you? Good, thanks. Chuck, actually, I, I do have a question. Okay. Um, 